All right. All so right. I'll just go ahead and jump in. Um, so Michael, I'm Faith Campbell. I am the Chief Marketing Officer at We Buy Black. Uh, we are the largest online Black uh, marketplace and community where we really specialize in providing um, resources and access to resources for the Black community across the board. So everything from economic, everything from, you know, how we network and socialize with each other, just to make sure that we're all in the loop with what our needs are, our challenges, and again, making sure that we uplift our accomplishments and achievements as well. Um, and so with that marketplace, you know, we offer advertising services. You're allowed to go on that uh, platform and buy and sell uh, services and products. Um, we also have a fulfillment center where we do distribution, fulfillment, um, and we are building out a grocery store as well. So we have a lot of exciting things going on uh, within our wheelhouse, and we're always super excited to learn more about the businesses that support us um, and that are a part of our community. So with that said, I would love to learn more about you, Michael, and what got you started? How did you get started with High Ticket Freedom? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Faith, for bringing me on. It's a pleasure to be here. Definitely an honor to be here. And what actually got me started with High Ticket Freedom, back in college, I was playing basketball. After having two knee surgeries, I realized basketball wasn't going to be my future anymore, and I needed another way. And I began to search for another way. I discovered digital marketing, and that changed my entire life. Fast forward after a couple of years of having some small success, and then you know the success grew and grew and grew with digital marketing, I actually started partnering with a startup beverage product. We took that product from just an idea to being able to uh, raise capital from investors. We actually then created a, a physical product, a commercial product, and we went on to create commercial scale product. From that point, once we did that, I realized that, hey, I have something. Maybe I can help other people with this skill. Maybe I can help other people with this experience that I, that I have so far. And so that's when I began to experiment and teach other people what I was doing people started to get results. And I was like, wow, this is working. Okay, you know what, if this is working, this can work for more people, bam, that's when High Ticket Freedom was born. And so wow. yeah, High Ticket Freedom was born. And um, you know, one of the things that we do is, I believe everybody has a superpower deep inside of them, right? Everybody has a gift, everybody has something inside of them. So yeah. with High Ticket Freedom, what we do is we help people go inside of themselves, figure out what is that gift? What is that superpower? And then we help them bring it out, help them package it, you know, put a nice bow on it, right? So that, and then we teach them how to go out there and promote it into the marketplace so that way they can actually get paid to share it with people around the world and be able to live however they want to live, whether that's travel, share more time with their family, their friends, their loved ones, or whatever they want to do. That's what we do every single day at High Ticket Freedom. That is absolutely phenomenal. So really similar to the VC space, you are really investing in um, people that have incredible innovative ideas, product development, and helping them to get into the marketplace. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. That is absolutely phenomenal. So we do a lot of that here in terms of building out our own uh, product lines and brands and all of those things. So it's so wonderful to hear that, you know, there's a resource where people can go and really kind of have a turnkey solution for you know, building out their own product and idea. That's awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the products that have done really, really well and some of the, the brands that you've worked with? Yes, absolutely. So the majority of the products that we work with are online products, mostly like online courses. Uh, some people create online services. Um, and then some people have created online products. One of the online products that we work with, um, well, one of, one of our clients, they have a consulting company called Lana Rock Solutions. And what they do is they help health coaches learn how to grow their health practices. And also they have a product called Little Hearts Musi. So with this product called Little Hearts Musi, it's, it's a, a, a cereal snack type of product. And they sell that in grocery stores in the United Kingdom. And with their online service for health coaches, so the actual, the, the client herself, she actually was dealing with health issues, right? Yeah. And she began to do her own research on how to, how to actually solve her health problems. Well, that's when she recognized that, hey, look, here I was in the hospital dealing with this health issue. Now after, you know, eating certain herbs and having a certain diet and a certain, you know, lifestyle, yeah. all of that solved. I can go into this space and help help coaches because I know what they're dealing with because I myself had to coach myself to help. So now she, she uh, does that type of service for health coaches and she's been... They've been able to thrive. And through the success of the online business that we coach them on how to build, they've been able to reinvest into the, into the, uh, the Little Hearts Music snack company. 
And also they actually invested in another company that is it's in Africa, where what they're doing is they're providing education to children in rural areas uh, in, wow. in different, um, and yeah, in rural areas, teaching them how to grow corn. And they, when they grow the corn, they take the corn, they go to the market and sell it. So they're actually doing some really great things with the success of the business that they've created because of the, ex, the, uh, the excess income and excess capital. And that, that's, just, that's just one success story. Um, yeah, there, there's, there's another sister that we work with where she was just getting started with trying to take her ideas of you know, her video marketing expertise because she's really a video marketing expert. Mm -hmm. But she didn't really know how to package it all up to be able to go out there and teach people and educate people to help them get results with their live video. So we taught her what to do. We showed her what to do. And she went out there and launched her company. And she, she started to have success. That success actually turned into an entire, an entire media company for her, where now that she provides online coaching, she does online courses as well as video, video services for, for, large, for larger companies where she's doing events for them. She's a person behind the scenes, you know, behind the, the keyboard, doing all this stuff. I, I mean, that's not my thing. That's her thing. But she's thriving now because of it. And, that, and that's, you know, that's another success story. And then we have a recent success story that I'll tell you about. Um, a, a, a more recent client that we've been working with, she actually has a beverage product idea. Uh, it's called Sweet Hibby. It, and, and this is somebody who has been working. She, so she's a mother. She works, a, she works she's been working a full-time job. And she had this idea in her mind for years to, to, mm. to, take, her, uh, to take her family. Yeah, her, her, yeah I guess a family. And more, more so the culture, right? Because uh, yeah. she, she, she's Haitian and I'm, I'm part Haitian and Bahamian. So okay. it's uh, more, more, of a, more of a cultural beverage. <laughs> oh, okay. Caribbean connection. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So yeah, she, uh, she had this idea to take this cultural, uh, this cultural beverage idea and put it out there into the marketplace, but didn't know how. So we worked yeah. together, worked together, and I shared her the steps that we took to create our products. And um, what she did was she launched this product called Sweet Hibby. It's in the South Florida area. And now she's working on um, growing, growing the product and taking the recipe and um, getting ready to commercialize it and set up her own, you know, storefront online and also getting ready to uh, get into some local stores offline in Miami. So those, are the, and, and again, that's a newer one. So she's on her way up. She's growing and growing. Right. Um, and, and over time, she will eventually get more success and more success. But, that, but those are just a few stories of uh, some of the success we've had. I can go on and on because I've been doing I'm this for sure. a while. I've mean, a lot are, of people. <laughs> yeah, these are incredible stories. And, you know, it's just Thank so... You amazing to learn about this. Um, and, you know, for all of this, as we know, when you are helping a business, especially a Black business, it's impacting the community as a whole. Um, that's creating jobs. It's helping us circulate dollars. So, you know, we definitely, I mean, within your organization, there are so many other powerful stories that we know can be shared out um, to inspire others and to really, you know, even more so drive traffic to you, right? To inspire folks Mm -hmm. to, uh, like I was saying before, to build out their own dream. Um, so what's the process? Well, how does this work? So, if, you know, I have an idea, I have a service, I want a package, I have a product, I want to launch. How do I work with uh, High Ticket Freedom and how do I work with you? Yes, absolutely. Great question. So the first thing is that we have online courses where a person can show up to our website and enroll into one of our online courses. And in, of our, in our online courses, we provide the entire framework, literally an A to Z holistic approach to taking the idea, right, that you have. And first, we need to validate the idea. We need to validate if the idea is going to be commercially viable. That's yeah. the first thing we do. Once, once, you, once a person is inside of our program, of course, uh, we have to then, once the, uh, once the idea is commercially valid, uh, validated, the next thing is we need to actually build the prototype or we need to build the, the uh the minimum viable product, right? To, to make sure that the market is going to respond to it. Then, yeah. then once we see that there's a response from the market, the market proves that there's, the idea is commercially viable, that we will then take that, that success of that idea or, or that prototype, and then we will build around it. So that way we know what we're building has already proven to sell itself or, we, mm -hmm. or it's already proven that there's a demand in the marketplace. And then from there, we follow the rest of our steps in terms of you know, doing the proper packaging, uh, putting putting together the proper sales material, putting together the proper messaging, and so with each of these steps, I know it's, it may sound like a lot, but we have checklists. You know, we have documentation, um, we have workbooks, and we have you know, we have things. Yes, th there there is a roadmap. Absolutely, yeah. there's a roadmap for people to take, and um, and, and it's a roadmap that I've walked down myself multiple times. It's mm -hmm. a roadmap that I've walked multiple people down. And so uh, it, it's a process of me just going back to the start of the road, right? Say, hey, look, here's my hand. Take my hand. 
come on, let's go. I got you. And then we walk step by step to get there. And that's what our, that's what our online courses do. But if a person like, hey, look, I need more help, more attention, more support. We also provide online coaching as well. Is there a cost for the course? If so, what are there different tiers, uh, pricing packages, or what does that look like? Yes, absolutely. So we do have different tiers. We do have different pricing packages. Um, we have free courses. In fact, we actually have a free boot camp event coming up on uh, March 28th through April 1st. It's a free five-day online course where a person can attend live for free, but the recording is going to be $49. So if you miss out on the live, you can buy the recordings for $49 and I just got to be transparent there. Um, so we have that level of courses. We do. We also have a free training on our website that we offer. And then we have lower, lower level courses that start at uh, $33. Um, some are $49, some are uh, $99. And then some will go all the way up to $2,000 for our most expensive courses. But the $2,000 courses are the ones that contain all of the information, all of the checklists, the steps, uh, the, the, the tools. And, and it literally walks, walks our clients from um, how to develop the right mindset, you know, how to, how to tap into your energy, you know, how to, how to tune into, um, you know, that, that inner voice within, right, and use that inner voice to guide you to, to be able to bring out the idea so that way you can create it and so that way you can build around it, um, how to build the marketing, how to, how to actually sell, how to, like, what to say, how to sell online, offline, face-to-face, -face, wow. over the phone. We provide the scripts, the tools, and everything, and we also train you on how to use each and every single one of these tools, and I, not only do we train you, but I show you, hey, look, this is the this is how I'm using a tool in my business. You can feel free to model what I'm doing, but you can also just take the training and just create it on your own. So we actually provide a very, very thorough approach to make sure that people have the most success with our course. And how many companies in general overall or you know products, brands have you launched to date? So myself to date, um, the biggest one, the biggest one that we've launched has been Banana Wave. Um, and then as far as, as far as mm, me personally, I have been on about, I would say about three projects that, that, I, that I've had my hands in launching. And then the, as far as like students around the world we've trained, I would say in total, um, in total students that, I, that I've trained and coached online, it's, it's maybe over, like, over about 2000. Wow. In total. But, but, it, but it, you know, it's a combination of courses. Um, it's a combination of online trainings as well as coaching. That is absolutely phenomenal. So I heard you earlier saying that you are in Thailand right now. Yes. What yes, I'm in Thailand right now. Thailand? <laughs> so I was inspired to come to Thailand many years ago after seeing some, somebody, uh, just got to give a shout out to Jabril Agoro. I saw Jabril Agoro in the video and I was like, wow, that looks like an interesting place. I like to check it out. And there was also something in my spirit that continued to call me to Thailand. Mm. And so I, I traveled to Thailand um, I, and I had this dream of one day being able to grow our company and be able to you know, have this online business, this online education firm and be able to travel, be able to move around, be mobile and have, have location independence. And so I bought a one-way ticket. <laughs> wow. um, I got. I, yeah, I got invited to do a speaking event in Portugal. So I bought a one-way ticket to Portugal. And after I did the speaking event, I was kind of looking around like, hey, well, I'm here in Portugal. I've been here for a few weeks. What should I do now? Um, let me get this one-way ticket to Thailand. So that was in 2017. I bought that one-way ticket. And um, I landed in Thailand. And I was like, okay, this is, this is cool. And I, I didn't know it at the time, but it would be a place where a lot of my dreams would come true. And I would be able to um, yeah, just, just, just find peace within myself. And so Thailand became the base and I started to travel around the different countries, Malaysia, um, Laos, Cambodia, you know, different countries. But every time I travel somewhere, I always had a desire to come back to Thailand. And so that's, uh, that's, that's a bit of what got me there, uh, got me here. But, but what kept me here is the fact that I actually pursued and played professional basketball. Like I got drafted to play professional basketball in Thailand and live out my dream. And um, wow. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, that was a manifestation was like, of all the things here, Michael. I mean, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is incredible. What a story. We need Thank you to write a book next and launch that. <laughs> we need to know the okay. full story. <laughs> okay, okay, so right. that, that's that's what I'm working on next. I'm working on a book, and when I have that book, I'm coming back and I'm launching it with the help of you, We Buy Black. Yes, you heard it here first. <laughs> the book is coming soon. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> All right. Now that's so professional basketball. Um, was was that your first interaction in Thailand, or the first thing that you did there, and then you kind of left and then came back, or how did? Yes. Okay. Yeah, great question. So I was actually, I, I was going back and forth. I was going to different countries and coming back to Thailand, go here, come back. And in terms of professional basketball, um, one day I was just at the gym working out, playing basketball. And a guy saw me. He was like, hey, man, you're really good. Like, you ever play basketball for money? And I'm like, come on, what do you mean basketball for money? He was like, huh? Like, I, I, did, I didn't understand him. And um, he was like, look, let's exchange information and I'll call you. And a few months later, he calls me. He's like, hey, look, I train here the tournament, and uh, we want you to play. And I played in the tournament, and little did I know, um, we actually won the tournament. We won the championship, and I won most valuable player. And, wow. before, you know, it, it was amazing because I woke up, and the local newspapers, you know, the local, the local sports center, if you will, like, they actually, yeah. like, were talking about the tournament and the team that won. And, the, and this this foreigner that was an MVP, and they had like a, a clip of me dunking. And I was like, whoa, that's, that's interesting. Um, fast forward a few a few weeks later, somebody said, hey, look, uh, you're getting drafted. You know, here's the negotiations. What do you want to do? And I was like, okay, let's do it. And um, and I got drafted to play professional basketball and, uh, in 2019. And I yeah, I finished the league as in the top 10 in every category. I led the entire league. And I was actually the first leading scorer and the first leading rebounder in, in the entire league in uh in Thailand. Yeah. And so that that happened in that same year that happened. Um, I actually appeared in a as an extra in a Spike Lee movie, which was another dream of mine um, to be to get into acting. So yeah, um, Thailand Thailand became a place of manifestation for me, where yeah. like some of the things I used to dream of as a kid, I actually got to live them out and. You know, a part of the dream was to be able to travel the world, have mobility, right? So, like, that dream led to other dreams that were, I guess, dead from childhood. They came back to life, you know, and, uh, here in Thailand. So, for me, it, it's, it's been a journey that's very unique. I can't, I can't really say that everybody will have the same experience. But I believe because of the intention, the manifest, um, you know, the intention, right, the, the desire, the dream, and, 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 like, the passion to pursue whatever it is with, like, with no fear. Yeah. Um, that that has brought about the manifestations for me. This is so interesting because a lot of what I'm hearing you say is, you know, I always like to call it the formula, right? When I'm working with brands, I'm working with products, I'm working with customers, it's always about, you know, this, this mixture of things that kind of have to be a part of your success story. Um, and for you, it sounds like a lot of that has been, you know, having intention or having some sort of manifestation, but a lot of it, a lot of it sounds like it's also discipline. Um, in some of the areas mm. that you've been in and the things that you're doing, I mean, even to work with businesses, to launch them from inception to fruition, get them from the ideation phase to, you know, the shelf of a big box retail store, you know, that's quite a journey. That's quite a process. And there's so many things that happen along that journey, right? That you have to stay focused. You have to continue to believe, you know, you can't have like one without the other. Um, so I'd love to hear you sort of talk about, you know, with this business and others that you've worked with and helped to launch, um, how you've overcome challenges and, and remained uh, focused on the goal? Yes, great question. So discipline is extremely important. And there's a quote that goes, you can suffer the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Mm. So every day that's always playing. It's like, man, am I going to regret this action? No, 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 no. Let me say discipline. Let me say, let me say discipline. Yeah. So when it comes to working with companies and brands, discipline and, and you know, there's other principles involved, patience, mm. due diligence, right? Mm. Being thorough. Um, th these are just a few of the principles involved. And every company I work with, every brand I work with, every, well, let me, let me, let me, you know, take it from all of that to like the individual, right? Like each right. individual human being that I talk to that's leading that company or leading that brand, mm -hmm. like, like the interactions with them are the place where I instill the principles of like, Hey, look, I know you got this idea. I know you, you know, you're really excited about where this is going to go, but yeah. I got to be realistic. Even though I'm, I'm an optimist, I got to be realistic with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to do this. Bah, 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 right. And like laying that type of, like that type of framework and foundation allows companies to see, okay, you know what? I see the bigger picture, but I also see how it's broken down step by step into small bite-sized chunks where I can digest it just enough to be able to see where we're going with this vision, to be able to see 
where this, uh, what the end result for this is going to be. And so I would say making sure that companies have the right principles, have, have the right foundations, those, those are some really key elements. And then making sure that the people that we're working with, making sure that we help to train their human spirit. Because a lot of these companies, a lot of these brands, most of the times, um, they, they are startups, right? Yeah. And so because they are startups, right, they, they, like, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to find their way. And their mindset most times is one where they're coming from an, uh, an employee background or maybe a, a, a contractor background, right? But not, not one where they've actually like been at the front of something large, you know, and, and, and led an organization to get to a certain goal. So because of that, we have to help them train their human, their human spirit. So I would say that's, that's one of the big things that we focus on is training the human spirit, but also making sure that we supply them with like real-time tools, uh, you know, real-time real um, skill sets that are going to help them in the real world and, and in the mass market. So I would say, I would say those are some things that, uh, that, that, co that come up when it uh -huh. comes to training our clients to be able to create successful brands and companies. And, and let's kind of go even more specific, uh, personally with building out your business and then again, working with, uh, other companies and businesses, what is something specific that you can say has been, you know, one of the greatest challenges, how you overcame it, and then what has been one of your greatest accomplishments? Mm, yes. Great question. I would say one of our, one of our biggest challenges in the beginning was, raising capital. I would say that was one of our biggest challenges. It took us mm -hmm. several years to raise capital because yeah. we didn't know. We didn't know it was going to require so much. We didn't know um, what to budget for, what to plan for. And so in that process of raising capital, it, it, it did take us several years. We had to do research on online, how to, you know, how to put together a business plan. Um, and then eventually after doing so much research, we discovered organizations like SCORE, SCORE Mentors, right? Mm -hmm. And so once we discovered SCORE, we went to the program and we actually found a mentor. And when we found a mentor, that made the process more simple because the mentor was able to say, hey, look, you need to go to here, you need to go there, and you need to mm -hmm. do this, and then you need to do this. And then when you finally, when you go here, then you need to have this, 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 and this ready. So that way, when this happens, this will happen next. You know what I mean? It's like, we had, we had somebody that had the vision of what we're trying to do, they were already there. They were already at the end result. So, so we just followed their their uh, their guidance. Mm -hmm. That would that would help us. That did help us. Like it, it really helped us tremendously because we were able to streamline our actions and make sure that we were doing things that were going to help us get the capital we needed to grow this business. But the thing is, even once we started, the, we, once we raised the capital and we started, we got the business going. We didn't we didn't anticipate how much how uh, how capital intensive the beverage business is. And mm -hmm. so we had to continue raising capital, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I would say that was one of our big challenges is, uh, is, is making sure that we had the capital to stay in, to, to start the business and then to stay okay. in business, and right? That, yes. Yeah, those, those are, yeah, that was one of the biggest challenges. And then for clients, because the clients that I work with, we teach them a lot. Uh, we teach them how to be self-sustaining, right? We teach them how to uh, start with their own ideas and, and, and use the internet, use internet marketing, right? Use online, online advertising to yeah. actually grow their sales and grow their capital through their own sales. And then once they have enough capital through their own sales, they can then take that income and then they can use that to start to pursue retail stores, retail accounts, because it's, it's just a capital, very capital intensive business. So I would say that's one of the, that, that, was, that, was one, that was one of the biggest challenges that we had to face. And then with clients now, um, teaching them how to actually manage their capital, um, teaching them how to make the best use of their startup capital, wh whether they have a little bit, you know, some capital or, you know, wh wherever they are, that's one of the, that's been one of the challenges for a lot of clients as well. I hope that, I hope that it answered your question. No, that is phenomenal. No, that is absolutely um, answering my question. My follow-up question to that is um, regarding just the community, you know, the Black community. Um, and, you know, I don't know if you've worked with Be By Black before, but do you feel like, you know, the black community knows about this company and um, is actively supporting? Or would you like to see that um, uh, broadens some more? Would you like to, to broaden your reach within the, the black community further? I would love to broaden my reach within the black community further. I feel like, uh, you know, what it is that I do, not a lot of people know about it. Uh, mainly because I've been just head down working for years and years and years, just working to make sure that we have the credibility, uh, making sure that the process is proven, making sure that the process is work. And on top of all of that, I just wanted to make sure that before I turn around to, to the masses and say into the whole world, I want to make sure 
that that this works. And so, you know, we have several several of our students that have been able to get a lot of life changing results. I mean, some people have been able to quit their job and you know pursue their business full time. Some people are in stores. Some people are like getting distribution deals. So yeah. so now that we have the proof. And and all of these things are are in place. Yeah, I, I would I would love to for for more people in the black community to know about what we do, um, so we can help more people. And the, the other thing I'll say is this, Faith. When we were starting up, and we had to raise um, in, in total, we raised over two million dollars in capital, startup capital for our Banana Wave brand. That's a lot. I'm I, I'm not going to say that everybody can do that. And so because I know not everybody can do that, and not everybody wants to do that. I always ask myself, man, how could a person, if they don't want to raise, you know, $100,000 or $50,000, if they don't want to raise that capital, how can they get started with whatever they have now in savings, whatever they're making from their job? So that's why, you know, we put together resources to teach people how to start with their ideas and put them into mm -hmm. online products, right? Or even um, mm -hmm. you know, on, online retail products where they don't have to uh, have a warehouse, you know, they don't have to do, they don't have to hire a trucking company. They can use resources like print on demand um, or POD. They can use something like that to take their ideas, you know, put them on shirts, put them on coffee mugs or whatever it is and start selling from home. Like to without having to do that. Somewhere. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Get started somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, so absolutely. Absolutely. So, so yeah, that, that's that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, uh, that, that's important. Yeah. I, I was just, I was going to finish and just say um, that is one of the solutions that, well, that, yeah, because of, because of the capital, uh, limitations of some, some people in our community. That's why we have certain solutions that teach people how to get started with just ideas online. And low, you know, they don't have to have a huge amount of capital and they don't have to raise millions from investors to get started. And I was just gonna say that is so huge um, because we're always you know, talking and trying to figure out how we can become greater support systems to businesses in any category, right? Even if you're just the person with the great idea or the person that's scaling over a million dollars in sales every year, you know, it's how can we best support and serve, you know, wherever you are within your business. Um, and one thing that we've definitely noticed, and I love that you said this, is that it's one thing to get started. It's one thing to stay or sustain where you are. Um, and a lot of times what happens is, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it sounds like this is something that you're covering off in your course as you're training these uh, entrepreneurs, but it's, you know, when you do have something good, when you do have something amazing, it is a process to actually scale, right? So you may be able to do a thousand units per month, but if you get a you know a purchase order for ten thousand units, that's not something that you can fulfill, and you don't want to you don't want to um, jump the gun, <laughs> right? And and sort of get out of your space where you're actually doing well, just trying to grow. There's a there's a, a huge space in between that that you need to actually uh, implement the patience element. And allow the business to naturally and organically mature so that you can sustain when you do get a 10,000 uh, unit order, right? Uh, but what we've yes. seen a lot, and this is, you know, not anything negative, it's just an educational element. But what we've seen a lot of is, you know, people will advertise and they will get a ton of hits um, and a ton of orders, but they're not ready for that yet. Um, and so I think it's just so important, especially for Black businesses, um, to remain sustainable, right? We don't want to start something and put all of our resources into something, and then 10 years down the line, or, you know, even shorter, two or three years down the line, we're extinct, right? Um, so I just love that, you know, that particular element, that that's something that you are providing, teaching, and showing how to do, because I think that's the long game play for us, for sure. Thank you. And you're 100% right. It, it is a long game. And it's extremely important because most new businesses, they don't know. They're just like, hey, I want to get 10,000 orders. I want to get that, that big purchase order. But they don't yeah. know. Like, you have, you have to be ready for that. You have to be prepared for that. Absolutely. What are you looking forward to this year in terms of growth for your company? Um, what are you excited about for this year? Wow. Okay. So, so this year, I'm really excited because uh, this year... We're, we're going we're gonna to scale our online education. You know, we're going to scale the, you know, get the courses out there to more people, get the information out there to more people, simply because of the fact that, you know, our banana wave journey has actually come to a, uh, what's the, what's the best way to put this? Um, yeah, we, we've actually come to a new, a new, 
chapter in our journey because we now have a different management company. We've actually, uh, um, yeah, like we have uh, Eat, Eat Beyond. Uh, yeah, I, I can say it. I can say it publicly now. I can say it publicly now. Yeah. Um, Eat Beyond <laughs> took Eat Beyond Meat. If you ever heard of them, yeah. Yes. Maybe. Okay. Perfect. So yeah. So um, they actually took our company over last year, and um, okay. yeah, like that 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 child, if you will, who started from just an idea. She was just a little baby. Um, she's she's off. She, you know, she's married and she's going off with you know, to start her own family. That is amazing. Thank you. Thank wow. you so much. So, so with the success of that, we're going to be scaling our online education aspect of our business with High Ticket Freedom. Um, we have an, an online course called the Online Business Activator as well. So we're going to be scaling that aspect of it just so that way we can help educate more people with this information. Because when, we, when I was getting started, I couldn't find the information. Yeah. And there's a lot of people out there teaching it. And I'm, and I'm sure that, and I know there's a lot of great teachers out there. It's just nobody's walked the walk that I've walked. So I'm really excited to really scale the scale my message out there to the world because I have something to say. I have something to inspire people. And there's somebody that's listening right now that, that can feel me right here. I don't know who it is. It may be you watching. It may be somebody else. But but there's somebody watching that can feel me right here. And they're going to hear this message. And they're going to say, yep, I'm going to go for it. And they're going to pursue it. And they're going to take action on their dreams. They're going to take action on their business ideas. And they're going to change their own life. They're going to change their own direction of generational wealth for themselves and their family. And so that's what I'm really excited about is, a, is just the idea of being able to help other people transform their own life. And then when they go home, they have a better quality of life. They can pay bills. You know, they, they, they don't have to think so much about certain things because Financial life's freedom. different for them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like freedom. You know, um, I, I come from very humble beginnings. I'm a single mom, teenage mom. My father wasn't there when I was born and I was born in the inner city of Miami. So I didn't, I didn't you know, there wasn't many options for me. I have a very humble beginning. But I've been able to work myself to where I'm at. And I'm just excited to be able to help other people that may be in a situation where, you know, not everything's working for them. Not everything's the way they want it to be. Or maybe that job, they, they're tired of it. Or maybe, you know, they, they want to figure out how to create more income. I'm just excited to be able to teach people, you know, th these economic skills that can really help, help make a difference in their life and also generations to come in their family. I'm, I'm so excited about that. I'm really excited. We about are that. excited too. Well, wow, let me tell you, and for that person that does feel this message and they're ready to take off and you know explore what's next for them as they bring their ideas to life how do they reach out to you how do they connect with you how do they connect with your organization and the resources that you have available yes i would recommend first visit highticketfreedom.com take a look at some of the solutions we have we have different online courses we have different online trainings that we offer and if a person is actually interested and, um, and learning more, I would say for those of you who are like, are like, hey, look, I just want to learn more. And look, I just want to get started right now. We actually have this online boot camp coming up. It's March 28th through April 1st. I'm, 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 put, I'm telling people March about this. March 28th because, through April 1st, folks. <laughs> yes, yes. Sign and up. That's, yes. Yes, yeah, sign up. OBABootcamp.com. It's a free boot camp, free, free to attend live. Um, the recordings will be $49. If you don't watch it live, then the price is going to be $49. So really show up live because it's going to be five days of free coaching and we're going to be giving away some information that's in our $2,000 courses. We're going to be giving away it for free, like literally giving it away for free. So I would say that that's the way that you can get in touch with attend that OBA bootcamp. Or like I said, visit our website, highticketfreedom.com to learn more about our courses and our products there. And we also have online coaching as well available. If you'd like to learn more about that, visit highticketfreedom.com forward slash apply. And then we can have a conversation after you apply. Absolutely love this. This has been incredible. I mean, I think I'm just like enamored. I'm blown away by what you're doing. Thank you so much for the work. Thank you so much for the impact and just for the passion that you have behind it. I think that's so powerful and we can feel that mm. for sure all the way over from Thailand, from, from Thailand to Atlanta, <laughs> we can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you man. so much. And we look forward to having you back to talk about more and, and how things are developing um, and, you know, what you have going on in the future. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I'm excited. To, I'm, excited I'm excited to come back again soon. And thank you one more time for, you know, this awesome opportunity to come on and share with your community. Absolutely. Thank you, Michael. We will definitely talk soon. Okay. Take care. <laughs>